Hi, right, welcome to Doc's Labs Tool Time. We are going to address tools, buddy. I realize I've got close to 200 videos, about 35 hours of videos trying to teach you audio engineering concepts and concepts related to acoustics to help you understand sound better and what it is, how to work with it. But we have not really done a video on tools. I've addressed compressors in the last video before this series and limiters to an, to some extent and expanders i think and we've talked about all kinds of tools um it, microphones and all kinds of things like that in this in the videos that are on this channel but i really have not done a series on the software tools that we use in the daw and the tools in the daw for working with audio so that's what this series is going to be about we are very directly going to deal with the basic tools that we use working with audio the basic tools that are in the DAW to help you edit the audio and, and, and things like that, um, quantization, things like Melodyne for for um, for the for the application that's used in time stretching, uh, um, event slipping. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Those type of tools and other basic tools like EQ, um, EQ, EQ with compression. I mean, we're going to talk about a lot of things like that. The EQ, some of the basic tools are EQ, reverbs, and delays. You know, I mean, some of the most basic tools in your DAW and in your studio to be working with um, as you're working with audio. Even things like doubling your tracks, that's a tool. And we've talked a lot about that, but we haven't just done a series on that. And we're going to get into filters, different types of filter. Just about everything else is a filter, a chorus, a flanger. Uh, I mean, all kinds of them, tons of them. You know, we're going to get into all kinds of different filters and things like that and effects and all kinds of different effects. Very, uh, simple surgical tools, tools like the mix tool, something really simple about, you know, inverting the phase. You know, we're going to get into that. We're going to talk about other surgical tools like um, special tools that I've downloaded for um, surgically working with the audio that I may not use a lot, but every now and then I got a little piece of audio and I really want to save this piece of audio, then there's surgical tools to work with. We're going to talk about some of those and we're going to talk about analysis tools and really take a good look at all those tools that are in our DAW. You will find out if you if you've watched my videos at all, you really understand I like things clean. So if I don't have to get a piece of hardware, I don't got it. I mean, I just don't. I mean, I, I like everything in the box. I just do as much as I can. All my tools for doing audio engineering. We're also going to talk about some more advanced audio engineering tools like MATLAB. I have MATLAB. There are other, you know, comparable or other pieces of software that are similar um, that can actually almost build you a DAW or a piece of uh, or a tool to work with audio. And that's a very important thing that we're going to discuss in another topic. And so we're going to basically get dig into our tool belt and we're going to take a look at the tools that we have to work with their audio. And I hope by the end of this series that you don't have much question about it. It's a good reference to go back and re-reference. Um, answer a lot of questions about what tools you need, what tools you would like to have at times, what surgical tools you'd like to have understanding your analysis tool analysis tools better and understanding the basic functions of your DAW and the tools in them and the basic tools you work with like reverb and delays and EQs for doing the you know the the bread and butter work that you do in the DAW you know and before you start you know you know creating other kinds of things the things that really help you to get things going and, and put together so we're going to address that. We're going to pull out the tool belt and we're going to start looking at the tools that we have to work with. And, you know, so that we have a better understanding of what all their function is, when we're supposed to use them, when we can use them, what they might do. And, you know, and so we have a really good understanding of all those tools. And another thing that I hope to solve in this is, you know, you know how many different types of EQ there are out there. If I bought every VST EQ and every other EQ there was on this planet for working in a DAW, um, I, I'd have a warehouse. So that's not happening, right? So you can only, you know, it's, I, I steer clear of buying new stuff unless it's something doing something new. That's something really cool, you know, then I'll think about it. If not, I don't, you know, so we will address that. 
you know, running out to buy Bob's new VST just because he uses it for mixing. When you understand the audio engineering concepts already, you understand the simple tools, the simple way to get it done that, you know, I'm hoping that I hope if you can afford them and you like to buy them, that's cool. But I'm hoping that it's better that you go and you start using the simple tools to achieve the complex mixes and the complex things that they're trying to get happening by understanding and being able to go to basic tools to get what you want done with a really good understanding of what you're doing because your work will be that much better that way. So instead of going out and buy a new VST that's got cool blue, red, flashy, green lights all over it, ooh, you know, I mean, I love them, dude. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. I love them. I got a new VST and it's got this really cool look or something. I mean, they did a really good job on the graphics and all that. I mean, I love that stuff. I don't get me wrong. Sometimes I will. I'll buy it. What the heck? Yeah, it looks so cool. You know, but a lot of times serious work in the DAW that that, you know, I, I'm using much more simple tools to get that done. And we'll also talk about saturation distortion tools also, because uh, as far as I'm concerned, all sound in audio is added harmonics, added distortion, added noise, and added saturation that make a complex waveform, and it's that simple. So those are huge and important tools. So, and harmonizers and things like that. So I hope you're ready for the series. This one's probably going to be a long one, but we're going to have some fun and check out our tools. Peace, hope, love. Hope you enjoy the series.